Although never fully realized, The Gates of Hell that Rhoda had started in 1880 was a project that took up his entire life until he died in 1917. It was a huge project. There are over 200 figures adorning the door. He took 37 years developing, reworking, and modifying his ideas. Sotheby's evening sale includes three works from a private collection by Auguste Rodin. Each one of these relates to the Gates of Hell project. The Thinker, Ugolino and his children, and finally, cast of Le Bézé. In these three works, you can really see how well applied the patina is to the surface. Unbelievable attention to detail and phenomenal quality. All three are lifetime casts. The Gates of Hell was born out of a commission for a museum of decorative arts, and Rodin was commissioned to design two doorways into this museum. The Gates of Hell is based on Dante Alighieri's The Divine Comedy, and the first part of that, especially The Inferno. Dante's Inferno is fertile grounds for expression. These characters and these stories inspired him in a way that gave rise to his most important sculptures. He centered the whole composition around the thinker, who is the personification of Dante himself. It is grounded in a history of how we portray thought and pensive moods and introversion, and grows out of that into this modern conception of philosophical crisis. Ugolino and his children shows the absolute despair as Ugolino crawls across the bodies of his dead children. It represents this moment of pathos and sympathy for Dante that is arguably one of the most important in literature. And Rodin picks this subject very specifically as a climax of the gates of hell. So much as the thinker grows out of Dante and Ugolino grows out of a very real historical source, the figures in the kiss grow out emotionally resonant moment in Dante's Inferno. It's when Dante comes upon the lovers Paolo and Francesca, who were murdered by Paolo's brother and condemned for their adulterous passion to eternity in an emotional embrace. This sort of moment of impassioned love and anguish really affects Dante, and Rodin wants to pull that out of the story and show that moment for these two lovers where their embrace is both one of pain and, and love. Rodin is making deliberate references to the art of the past while also challenging it and taking it forward. This is where the birth of modern sculpture is taking place. 